Hey, it is currently September 14, 2022. We got less than 12 hours before the merge at time of recording, and I just wanted to record the hash rates of all these various cryptocurrencies before the merge happens so we could see how it impacts everything. Of course, Ethereum on miningpoolstats.stream basically has around 860 tera hash that has to disperse amongst the network. And if you look on the right side here, you can see there's been a dip as various uh, miners switch over to different coins. Ethereum Classic right now sitting right underneath 70 tera hash on the network. Raven Coin sitting right underneath 10 tera hash on the network. Ergo, right around 30 to 35 tera hash. It really depends on where you're looking. You'll see here on what to mine in just a moment. Flux, right around 3.4 mega souls or mega hash is what uh, some websites call it neoxia has been getting a severe amount of interest due to profitability but it's still underneath two tera hash and if we look at what to mine obviously profitability don't worry about that but underneath each of the section right here this is the difficulty and right below that is the overall network hash rate so 833 tera hash on ethereum sounds about right so 860 850 833 similar ballpark uh, we can see that beam is lagging right now so it's up there in profitability but may not be 100 percent true is only around 735 kilohash neoxia again right around two tera hash uh raven coin right around or just under 10 tera hash Firo is around 123 giga hash and that coincides with what we see here on two miners got 126 giga hash but it's pretty close uh flux is around 3.3 mega hash or mega souls. If we actually look back at that, you see how it has the MS. And then Conflux is right around 1.16 tera hash, which coincides with what we see here on mining pool stats or miner stats, excuse me. And then we also have Ergo, very interested party to get much of the hash rate, is right underneath 30 tera hash, uh, as we, we saw before. So 30 to 35 tera hash, and has been steadily climbing over the month. Ryo is right around 948 kilohash. Eternity, 31, almost 32 kilohash. Xano, right underneath 10 gigahash. Vertcoin, right around 2 gigahash. Zero, right around 56 gigahash. And Bitcoin Z, a Zhash algorithm type coin, is around 71.38 kilohash. Ethereum Classic, again, right around 70 terahash. And that seems just about right. Conceal, 1.5 uh, mega hash. Quark Chain, which is an ETH hash coin, which we believe a lot of these uh, ASICs that can't switch might go to um, if they can't mine Ethereum Classic. 18.5 uh, giga hash. Ubic, uh, 23 giga hash. Callisto, 82 giga hash. Bitcoin Gold, a Z hash coin as well. Right around 2. Uh, 0.14 mega hash or mega souls if we look at two miners. Then we have Aeon right around 427 kilo hash and then many other coins as we go down like Cortex 22.46 kilo hash, uh, Equilibra uh, right around uh, 952 kilo hash and so much more. So pause this, compare uh, before and after because we're about to see the whole world shake up as this Ethereum merge unfolds. And I'd be interested to how the hash rate disperse amongst the various cryptocurrencies. Stay tuned. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.